<clears throat> so. <laughs> 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 See, NYC rats are attacking outdoor diners after starving during pandemic. Well, listen, nature's returning. We're just trying to get back to where we were before. Listen, yo, the rats just want their corners back. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? That's it. You know what I mean? That's all they want. They want the, they want their space. It's, Social distancing. It's balance. You know? It's balance. If, if you could go outside to get a eat, why can't a rat go outside to eat you? Like, it's fair as fair. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? They've been in their apartments, quarantining for four months, just like us, a little stir crazy. They want to get out there, see some things, you know? Go have an omelet outside and perhaps, you know, eat, I respect, eat a tourist. So. I would actually make a, 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 a spot at the table. If a rat had the, the audacity to jump up on my table while I'm eating outside, I'm like, yo, you know what? No. You know, just, yo, rock. What just sit there, rabies? bro. Like, like, I mean, rabies, is, rabies is in right now, though, for rats. So, you know, yeah. let, them, let them rock that. Let them, let them rock the foam in mouth and stuff. Also, can you just, like... You could like take a pill for rabies, right? Like, am I am I bugging? Like, I think you need to get. It's not gonna kill you. Yeah, I think it does. Uh, you have to get. Pretty shot. sure it does. <laughs> you gotta get like shots in your stomach and. Damn. Damn. Wait, have they actually have anyone get... that? Do they have footage of someone getting attacked by a rat, or this is just like word of mouth? This sounds like a lie. Someone's like, someone like, yo. Someone had a a rat run over their foot. That's every. Meal. That's every day in New York. Come on. What, what are you new here? That's literally every time I I transfer from the six over to the four, like a, a rat would run over my foot. It's like a rite of passage. If if you take the subway to New York City and a rat has never run over your foot, you're not even a real New York. Rats running over feet. Okay. That's like that's that's uh, a rat runs over your foot in New York. That's flirting. That's not attack. Yo, <laughs> try to get your number. Yo, we we in the race for chat running over feet. Why? <laughs> those rats look extra dirty. Damn, they've been working out. Yeah, they're the dusty rats. They swim in the track water. That's how they get extra dirty. How they get that? They pick up extra diseases. Fine sheen, NYC rats. <laughs> have they said what restaurants the rats are attacking people at? Do the rats have taste? Are they leaving? Are they like going into people at Sabaros or are they going to people at like Top Chef restaurants? Like what's? It's places in yeah. Soho. Yeah, it's in Soho. We Soho? should make Very this cheap. the new Michelin star. You should make this the new food guide. Depending on how many rats, how many rats attacked your patrons is a direct comment on how good the food in your establishment is don't quote me on that but that's how it yeah. works if the rats want it, everybody wants it oh you know what i'm saying and maybe it's not the food we can't even keep the rats away maybe the pandemic has made new yorkers more delicious think about that we've just been inside Yo. eating 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 bread. Mad sodium and you sugar and shit yeah listen True. this is like we could be like we've been marinating ourselves for months you know what i'm saying inside these rats probably just smell us like... If you eat a New Yorker right now, you're going to get a Kobe slice of beef. You know what I'm saying? You're going to get, nah, the you know top level shit. It's like, you know what I mean? Like, when you when you go to the supermarket and you're like, yo, grass-fed or like, you know what I mean? Like, we're, we're like, you know, farm-to-table humans yeah. now. Well, Ooh. you guys want some L.A. goss now? L.A. goss. Give me yeah. some L.A. goss. Yeah. Hey, a moldy bucket of squirrel. So Old jam is leaking. The internet loses mine. Yeah, I, listen, I, that, shout out to y'all for putting me onto this because I had no idea. I didn't know what the fuck Squirrel was, but apparently they're just scraping mold off of shit and being like, yo, you're good. An employee from Squirrel shared this photo of the moldy jam from their kitchen. The fact that they were told to just scrape the mold off is yuck, yuck, yuck. And does a squirrel always, uh, squirrel always has like a wild long line in front of it. People swear by it. So all of y'all were eating moldy jam. Moldy jam. Damn. Damn. But you know what? Ooh. It kind of looks like that's how. What if I, if you didn't tell me what squirrel served and they served me this, I would just eat it because I'd be like, I guess this is what they're eating. Like this looks like something people pay high money for. Yeah, that's the problem with like high like high end shit like this. Like you don't even know like is it supposed right. like yo is it is this just natural penicillin? Like what do you what what am I eating right now? And is it mold supposed to be you good for saying? you? Like why why am I why am I getting rid of this? We don't use commercial pectin sweeteners or other stabilizers, and to highlight the fruit, we add a little sugar. That yields a little natural fruit. F f what? No, no. This sounds like, no, nah, no. Nah, you copy, please. There's way too many words in this statement. And it said, <laughs> like, and simply a low sugar jam is more susceptible to the growth of mold. The same types of mold that develop on some cheese, charcuterie, dry aged cheese, and lots of other preserved foods. They're like, yo, everyone gets mold. What's the big deal? Yo. Yo, who cares? Yo. Yo, motherfuckers get mold every day, B. Wow, a little like, mold. Y'all yeah, complaining about mold? People, people in other countries would die for some mold. Or not? I don't you know. You know what I'm saying? For this delicious jam full of mold. So wait, were people just it's buying jam? Fruit. Was this, this going there like, yo, let me get a cup of jam? What kind of country bumpkin bullshit is this? 
They they is sell this? jars for of seven ounces. It's like fifteen dollars. What a hustle! I can't even get mad at them for that. <laughs> they were getting over on people. Damn. We you know what? We setting up squirrel in the Bronx. We're gonna call it uh. Yeah. We're gonna call it muskrat, and it's gonna be fantastic, Mus- and it's gonna be right located on the banks of the Bronx River. What flavors? Of They're jam? kind of. Uh, chopped cheese, Ooh. Newport. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Newport guts. Uh, shit. Uh, Yankee pigeon dookie. Yankee fitted sweat. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. Let me see what else. What else? What else? Uh, Staten Island coop. Staten Island cop boot on your head. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. Let me see. Uh, Times Square, which tastes exactly like licking the pavement in Times Square. Not a popular yes. flavor, but you know. Yes. Elmo suit guy bed bug. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Delicious squirrel. Can we get some? Are they still delivering or are they completely closed down now? Squirrel. Why, you want some of this? Yeah, get get us some squirrel for next week. We'll eat it live on camera. They're blowing it with this because they could just be making like wine or something out of this. They could just make some type of like weird kombucha or some shit, right? Isn't that what Mm -hmm. what kombucha is? I mean, it's like rotten. Well, Mm -hmm. kombucha smells like rotten shit. So, yeah, you might be right. (laughs) (laughs) That shit's disgusting. Kombucha. I don't understand. You use like kombucha, you buy it brand new, you smell it, it smells rotten. I'm like, how do you know if it's good or not? And then you drink it. And people were just like, I like the taste of kombucha. You're lying. It's disgu- no one likes kombucha, yo. You don't no, you, you don't, don't like kombucha. kombucha. You don't like You're only kombucha. drinking it because other people like are it. drinking it. Okay? That's right. And, and that's how I, listen, stop it right now because that's how IPA started. Kombucha you never even kombucha didn't even exist before, I want to say two years ago. Kombucha was invented across the street from Vice. I stand by that. Oh, be third okay? eye. It'll be third eye right there. Twelve chairs. Mm-hmm. You need a scoby you know to saying? make kombucha. You, you made a who? A scoby. A scoby. A symbiotic culture of bacteria and yeast. Oh, oh. okay. Hold on. Wait. I think I have some over here. <laughs> you can get yeah, let me just. Yeah. Free. <laughs> uh, you could, or you could not bathe for ten days and then scrape the bottom of your ass. Yeah, listen. You know what I'm saying? A, be all right. There's a lot of free molds you can get from Craigslist for free. If you know what I'm saying. <laughs> you know, you gotta, you gotta watch yourself there. <laughs> They're in the encounter section. But I do feel like you guys would be into kombucha now that you're like, you know, showtime. Showtime? What is that? What exactly does that mean? Are we not you know, are we not like, are we not hardworking blue collar Americans? Do we not carry our lunch pails into the studio? Okay? You act as if we're like your... superstars. Like we put our pants on one day at a time. We don't have drivers. We have to we have to walk mm. to work. Do you understand that? Mm. We walk to work. We are some of the humblest people in America. I was a lot of people don't know that. Mm-hmm. I, like, yeah, you know what? It's, 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 dunks. Oh, look, I mean, uh, listen. Wow. Listen. Wow. Camera's uh, not working. Gotta, uh, listen. Gotta go. Those, those, I don't, I don't know what the hell you're talking about. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> First and foremost, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm in my basement. These are, these, this is, this is, this is a storage area. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I just, I put a poster up of the show just because I wanted people to know. This is a green screen, so I don't know what you guys are talking about. Yeah. This is the same, same green screen <laughs> we shot the de Blasio uh, thing on, so ha. Huh? There you go. Oh, there you go. <laughs> got you. Like we're on Zoom. These are fake backgrounds. Like I'm actually just sitting in my garage on the floor. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We walk to work. We buy our own lunches. You know what I'm oh saying? God. Nobody else in the industry does that. No one. You know what I'm saying? No nice hard. chains, Miro. Well, these are like fake. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. These are costume jewelry. Patrick made those. You know what I mean? Patrick made those. Those are <laughs> yeah. in animation. These are graphics. These are graphics. Look at that. Yeah, look, it's going to spin like, whoa! Yeah. Look, you saw how it spun around like that? Chains don't do that's that. That's not even naturally. That's not even real gold. That's the same gold as the gold, the Sonic rings. So there you go. Yeah. There, that's it. So, there you go. Okay. Thanks, Julia. All thanks, right, I'm Julia. Convinced. Julia's trying to make it hot for us. Spot. <laughs> come on. Julia trying to make the crowd come to us with a guillotine. Like, yo, we'll cut your heads off. Like, no. <laughs> eat, the, eat the rich. You got, I'm like, no, 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 no. I'm you, 100 here. You got to go out there and start explaining <laughs> stuff. Be like, no, 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 no. Let me explain to you about wealth and how, listen, Jeff Bezos, Bloomberg, shit, Carmelo Anthony, anybody. Hey, hey, hey. You got to throw your friends under the bus. I'll be like, hey, <laughs> hey, you want, hey, you guys want Chrissy Teigen's address? Ha, 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 ha. All right, well, here's Don't someone who is really rich. Hey. Ooh. Shout out to the du- oh. shout out to the Dilbert God Scott Adams. <laughs> All right, here's a picture of him at a meet and greet with Ariana Grande. Is that what's mm. no 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 uh, no no no. Mm-hmm. no no oh no oh he's marrying he's married a woman. Her. Yes, very much as C Junior. Shout out to him. Big. This is big. Ninety day fiance energy right here. You right. <laughs> Yo, what? Old rich. Mega. Old rich. Look at the way he's holding that phone. Look at it. He's holding the phone. She's like, this is my love. I love him. After today, I'm American citizen. I'm so happy. How do you have a visible T-shirt 
under your shirt at your wedding. Like that just shows, yo, yo. you a, that's a, that's savage behavior, my guy. Yo, and look at this. Fair. And now he just he, got the, he, he got went the to too. he went to straight Michael Jordan after a game. The t-shirt just out. Like, to, why you cutting the cake? Yo, this is me. This is hurting my soul, bro. Because I put so much into my wedding, dog. Look at her. You, you, you he, he, look on um, top button, a button, like just mad casual, hand in the pocket. You can see she, bro. You look like she's you're... mentally saying to herself, "All right, all right, you're just gonna have to touch it a couple of times, but it's gonna be worth it. It's gonna yeah, be yeah. worth it." It'll t- yeah, yeah, yeah. He only... just think of it like as like the little worm from labyrinth. Yeah, he only has like, a couple. Of, he doesn't it. have that many years left. We can we can get through this. We can get. Yeah. We'll just power through. We're good. We're good. Let's just feed him mad red meat. You know what I'm saying? Like were they until he expires? Were they the only people at their wedding? That's why they were holding the camera weird like that, or? <laughs> Because I know her family. Listen. Listen. Oh. I feel, I mean, honestly, I feel like they would be the only people at their wedding, even if there wasn't a pandemic going on. Yeah. Yeah, because her family. Even the photographer was just like. Her family is totally against this, but they're just like, yo, just stay with it till he gets us over there. And like, he doesn't have any friends. He's not. He's not a social person. (laughs) No. No. Because listen, when you got tweets like this, you don't have friends. If Biden is elected, there's a good chance you will be dead within the year. Republicans (laughs) will be hunted. Will be hunted. Okay. Okay. He's like. These are oh, these are big. Okay. These have big four a.m. I've been drinking energy. You know what I'm saying? Like these Yo. treats you see in the morning. Like oh, I was wilding. A lot, I feel like these are big, like inside cop car conversations. I lost my TV show for being white when UPN decided it would focus on an African American audience. That was the third job I lost for being white. The other two in corporate America. They told me directly. That's sad. That's sad. There was a time in America when white men were brought into offices and they was like, "Hey, Charlie, you're white. Get the fuck out of here. Sorry, can't stay here. Yeah, be Beat it. it, man. Yeah." yeah. Black, black only. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> black rule. And here's a guy that, re- that said to him, "Dude, the show was ranked 152nd out of 153 shows. I enjoyed the comic strip, but the TV show absolutely sucked." And as someone who used to watch Dilbert on UPN, I can 1,000 percent agree that shit was terrible. How do you fl- how it do you pop Dilbert? Bad. Dilbert was so on point about working in an it office, management, not getting stuff, and then the show was terrible. The show he was like. There were like things digging through the walls and little other creatures that had nothing to do with the office. And it was just a mess. So you did that to yourself. Also, it was UPN. UPN, at this time, UPN was showing homeboys in outer space. Any show could have done better Seriously. than that, my guy. Like, come on, dog. Let's be real. Uh, they had Flex flying a fucking Cadillac into Saturn. And you came in last after that. Uh-uh. 152. Uh, damn, but what was 153? One fifty. Oh, probably the secret diary of Desmond Pfeiffer, the show they that the whimsical show they had about the slave. Yeah, that. Oh my God! Ooh. Listen, UPN was UPN was trying. They were spitballing, but you know it was in. Uh, yeah, yeah. They, 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 was, they, were, just, they were just workshopping. <laughs> Do you want to see a picture that won't surprise you? Let's see it. Uh waiting to take the prisoner yeah. into protective custody. Snickers the pumpkin yeah. sniffing police dog has my back. No, he doesn't. He doesn't because he's trying to get out of the photo. He's like, yo, I'm out of here. Nothing weird about the optics of, you know, an older gentleman dressed as a cop as he begins to marry a younger woman. You know, just, uh, just, 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 just a little, I'm not kink shaming, but you know, they'd be doing some freaky stuff in the bedroom. Mostly his idea. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know, it includes batons. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. This guy, but you, like, look, if this is a cop, I'm I'm breaking the law because you look like a fucking herb. Like you're not striking fear in my heart. Yeah, he looks like your glasses. You, he he has Dilbert's glasses. Like he took Dilbert's glasses to put them on for this picture. He looks like a security a mall cop that's taking this job way too serious. Like like hey 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 pal, like, you, you can't sit there and look, you're just like all you have is a flashlight. Get out of here. Like no one's afraid of you. Get the fuck out of here, dog. They got robots doing your job now. You fucking bozo. You don't even have cop. You don't even have cuffs anymore. Beat it. Beat, Le- then you, then you disrespect them <laughs> call their first name. Like, beat it, Larry. Get out of here. Yeah, yeah. fuck out of here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, sorry, Tim. Ooh, sorry. I can't eat my, oh, I can't eat my Sarku in the Taco Bell section. Oh, wow. my I'm bad. sorry, your jurisdiction is over here. This whole food hut over here. I'm sorry, I'm going over there. I'm uh-huh. going over there. We have no power. It's called Foot Locker. It's a sovereign state, bro. Uh, uh, how old is his wife? Like, 35 years younger than him? Um, he is 63, and she's 31. Woof. Oh, my. Woof. What the fuck do they talk about? That's not even robbing the cradle. Like, he's robbing the ovary. My God. That's <laughs> gross. Damn. Um, Shit. Changing topics slightly. Changing um, topics slightly. <laughs> slightly. <laughs> From Modi so- Jam to a Modi old man. What do we got now? 
<laughs> Jimmy Fallon. Jimmy um, Fallon. He died? Going back to the studio. No, what? No. <laughs> uh, the screen is black. <laughs> I didn't know what was going on next. I was like, maybe it's breaking news. <laughs> yeah. No, God. No, they're, he's going back to the studio. Okay. Okay. That's cool. That's cool for him. With no audience? No or audience. Like, with an audience? No uh, audience. Uh, I mean, for that, you could just... Are the Roots going to be there? I believe the Roots will be there. Okay, but then oh, they're going to have to social okay. distance and... Uh, yeah, that's gonna be. That's let's see. Let's see what happens. I, I like how all these places are going back. All these like TV shows are going back to studios. That gives me some hope because I left a fire cheese sandwich in the office, and I cannot wait to get that shit out of my fridge, man. Oh man, it's still good. Just squirrel, mm. just squirrel it up, mm-hmm. scrape the top off. There you go. Know what I'm go to town. Listen, <laughs> the secret, the mode, flavor country. Papa John taught me that, bro. Wow, you know, <laughs> it's my favorite thing, pal. Come on. So wait, have all. <laughs> Did all the late night show have all the late night shows returned to the studios, or are we the only ones? Uh, Conan and Fallon. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, mm. it's kind of wild. Just like, you know, guess some people can't work from home. Oh. I mean, <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. Let yeah. me see. There ain't no friends. Ain't no Fuck friends. That. Fuck that. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Right. We could go golfing and have lunch afterwards, okay. y'all. We saw the last dance. You know what I'm saying? You know what it is? Okay. Charles Barkley was cool, but he never won a ring. We're all friends in the late night world. But, you know, we saw the, we saw those Emmy forums and I forgot. It's gang shit over here. We got to get back on our BX shit. You know, you know what I'm saying? saying? And I think next year, <laughs> next year we're going to get into Emmy voter intimidation. Because I think right now Word. it's too it's too easy. And I was like, oh, I like you. You were on my show. I'm going to vote for you. Like, we're going to start running yeah. up on people. We're going to catch you yep. at... Like egg slut, you we're gonna catch you an egg slut in West Hollywood, and if you don't vote, uh-huh. for Deez and Mero, ooh, gonna be more than mold on, yeah. gonna be more than mold on your jam. Catch. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we watch. We're gonna start the whole campaign. It's gonna, gonna be a whole campaign. People? We're gonna no, we're not gonna. What? Yeah, what? we're gonna go to no way. Hey, nah, nah, nah. We're not nah, gonna nah, kill nah, people. Nah, nah. We're just gonna um, no, no, we're no. going to harass them using LA tactics. Yeah. So we're gonna do. We're gonna throw events and force people to be there on time, but make the event Boom. far away by car. And it's going to be unnecessary when you get there. Ah, then we're going to yo, we're going to increase the price a- of every Uber in LA to a minimum of ten dollars. Everyone's head just burst. That's right. That's like out of control. And uh, yo, we're having a party in Santa Monica. And we are going to you know what we're burning down Runyon Canyon. So that's right. There you go. So no more thotty pictures over okay. there. You can't go over there and be like a little yo. I'm I'm on my fitness shit. You know what I'm saying? So unless you over for unless that. you want the Bodega Boys to bane California, vote for Dizemero. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Calling an Emmy voter suppression. There you go. We're Russia now. <laughs> yeah, this is all on camera, you guys. You're, you're just sitting Yeah, you could be on camera. You'll be all right. You, I guess it. We're gonna get we're gonna get Putin to manipulate the Emmy voting process. <laughs> Listen, we know we know. I got a friend named Roger Stone. He knows a thing or two about elections. Uh, you know, he got some free you know time. He got some free time now. He'll help us. You know. You know what I'm saying? We're going. We got out. You know what I'm saying? Me and him are going shopping. We're going shopping tomorrow. You know, he got the fire looks. <laughs> Yo, what? <laughs> he got the fire 1920s villain Listen. looks. Like, on deck. You know, you know, you know uh, Roger Stone got some fire sneakers. You know that. You know, you, oh, he has yeah, a very problematic sure. sneaker collection, I'm sure. You know, he has some Sakai's. He probably got the dunks. Mm-mm, I don't like that. I don't like that. <laughs> what if Trump had a fire sneaker collection? Yo. What would- He's like, I only wait hard about him, said formal events. But when I'm not... I'm dripping here. Yeah, just like just Trump just comes out with the sneaker and just licks the bottom. Like, eh, you like that? You like that? Like, yeah, yeah. How you feel? How you feel? You know, see, I never wore these. Trump on sneaker shopping with Joe LaPuma. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these are flames, these are flames. right here. Jordan's nines. I yeah. love these. I used to wear these when I was watching. I was watching Larry Johnson dunk on them. I was watching sitting next to Milani. It was great. It was great. I, you know, a lot of people don't know I used to hoop. I was a great hooper. <laughs> There's been a lot of great hoopers, but I've been one of the yeah. best <laughs> ever in Division Three. <laughs> Trump University. Checks over stripes. You know the, that's, right. you know the that's what I like. That's what I like. <laughs> okay, are you guys ready to start the show? Yeah, yeah, yeah. let's now get it. Trump cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. You know all the all the cool Nothing kids. Nothing can make Trump cool. <laughs>